Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Packers football is now back. The players are back to practice, and now we can get back to some Packers football after having a week 13 bye week where the players have been able to rest up, recuperate, and get back to business. We have a tough game coming up against the Chicago Bears on Sunday Night Football, so now it's back to the daily grind. And the first thing to do is report some the good news is that Jair Alexander has been designated to return off of injured reserve. He has been back at practice. I have a video that I can play for you that he uh, had on Instagram and he sent via Twitter to confirm that the all-star cornerback is now back and he is ready to, re to resume and potentially return to the team very soon. Here is the video that Jair sent to us updating his return. It's cold, so don't ask me no questions. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, Ja. Welcome back, buddy. It's cold. So, yeah, don't that's just no great. So yeah, that's just great. We're gonna get one of our, arguably one of our best defensive players back onto the field very soon. Uh, of course, Jair's gonna have to practice a little bit more, see how things go. The shoulder, I think, appears to be a lot better. He looks like he's in good spirits, and I think that with the doctor's uh, clearance, I think we should be able to see Jair pretty soon. I don't expect him to be back this week. We'll probably see how things go for the duration of the injury report to see how much he's practicing. He's only been practicing on a, on a limited basis from what I know. But that is great to know that Jair has been, in fact, returned. So here is what, uh, here's what uh, Jared Dubin of CBS Sports had to say. The Green Bay Packers may be getting back one of their best defensive players back on the field within the next few weeks as Pro Bowl cornerback Jair Alexander returned to practice on a limited basis Wednesday. So that is really good, really good news to report for the Packers as his presence on the field for Green Bay is pretty huge. And unfortunately, there hasn't been any news really about Zadarius Smith. There was a pic on Instagram that he hinted that the, he was going to be returning soon. Him with a uh, with full with with a with a big smile on his face with Jair Alexander coincidentally in the picture he uh was off to the side a little bit and i think he had his back turned toward it where uh i think that's probably what it could have been a subtle hint a lot of the people like to be able to go take something out of nothing and make it out to be something that it's not i think maybe zadarius could have just sent the picture just because he wanted to do it he also could have been hinting it's jair that was going to be returning soon to the field not himself we do know that zadarius has had is coming off a of back surgery that was a few months ago, of course, and a back surgery is kind of tricky to say of when a player is going to return. Normally, back surgeries are pretty severe to the point to where the player may not even return for the year. That I initially, when I reported this back in September, that when he had the back surgery, it was probably around late December or the playoffs is when he was going to most likely be returning. I share that. Uh, I still I still think that's probably where I think that Z has a pretty good chance of returning. Um, but uh, he is back in the... But Zarius has been back in Green Bay for weeks now. And I know he's been with the team. He's probably been in the meetings and everything like that. But he hasn't been out to practice. And he hasn't been designated to return off of injured reserve. And uh, same thing with David Bakhtiari. He hasn't been on injured reserve. But he hasn't been practicing... So that's another thing is that I don't think that we will be able to see David for the Bears Chicago Bears game. Aaron Rodgers on uh, the Pat McAfee show went on to say yesterday that he doesn't expect David to play, and I think that is probably most likely right. I know that the team was evaluating David's situation to see where he was and if he was going to be able to have the chance to be able to go for practice and before being able to be activated to the 53-man roster. So the signs are pointing to David returning really soon, hopefully within a week or two. I think that would be my guess for the timetable for David's return. That's what I have to report for the uh, post bye week for the Green Bay Packers. And let's go get those Chicago Bears. We still own them. And with that, I'll catch you guys later for another one. Go Pack Go!